Hey guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to you to another episode of Logo History. This is episode 437 of the series, and we're still going strong, my friends. Oh my gosh, we got another movie to take a look at, so yeah, let's get this out of the way, shall we? For episode 436, we're looking at Ferdinand. Oh boy. Now you've got no luck. <laughs> but yes, we're about to get into it today here on Logo History for those of you who are not familiar with it. I'll tell you why. It's for all respect, and boy, this should be pretty good. And and today we're and today's episode is no exception. So yeah, let's get to it. For those who haven't seen episode four thirty five earlier today, we did Monsters University from Disney and Pixar. So go watch it right now. The link's up there on the top right corner screen. Go check it out for yourself. It's definitely worth the wait. Now though, let us begin, shall we? Are you ready? Here we go. First, images are taken low P. Critical is about the image that you're about to see does not belong to me, nor to anyone else. So keep advice to go through. Now let's get into it. Here's a show by for those who don't know what Ferdinand is. Ferdinand is a 2017 American computer animated comedy adventure film produced by Blue Sky Studios and distributed by 20th Century Fox, now called 20th Century Studios. Yeah, remember that, I know. Uh, the film is loosely based on Monroe, Leaf, and Robert Lawson's 1936 children's book, The Story of Ferdinand, written by Robert L. Bayard, Tim, F F Tim Federal, and Brad Copeland, and directed by Carlos Saldana. The film features an ensemble voice cast that includes John Cena, Kate McKinnon, Bobby Cannavale, Peyton Manning, Anthony Anderson, David Tennant, Tim Nordquist, Lily Day, Juarez, Gerard Carmichael, Miguel Angel Silvestre, Raul, Espe uh, Raul Espaza, Gina Rodriguez, da David Diggs, Gabriel Iglesias, Fiula, Nuno Flula, Bor Boris Kojoy, and Sally Phillips. The music for the film was composed by John Powell, making it his eighth and final collaboration with Blue Sky before it shut down on April 10, 2021. The story, written, the story, written, the story, written by Rod B Birch, David Kidd, and Don Reimer, follows a gentle Pacific, uh, pacifist bull named Ferdinand, who refuses to participate in bullfighting, but is forced back into the arena where his beliefs are challenged when he faces off against the world's greatest bullfighter. Ferdinand premiered on December 10, 2017 in Los Angeles and was theatrically released in the United States on December 15, 2017 in 3D and 2D formats and received mixed to positive reviews from critics and audiences. It grossed $296 million worldwide against a production budget of $111 million. Ferdinand received a nomination for Best Anime Feature at the 90th Academy Awards, losing against Coco, while also receiving nominations for Best Anime Feature Film, also lost against Coco, and Best Original Song, Home, at the 75th Golden Globe Awards, losing against This Is Me. So yeah, there you go, my friends. Look at that. Movie names for Ferdinand, running times 108 minutes. Premiered on December 10, 2017 in Los Angeles, and on December 15, 2017 in the United States, which is five days later. Which is five days later. Produced by Blue Sky Studios and 20th Century Animation. Formerly called 20th Century Fox Animation, now called 20th Century Animation. Distributed by 20th Century Studios, which is formerly 20th Century Fox. Remember that. Directed by Carl Saldana. Budget is 100 million, 111 million dollars, and the box office and the box office they made 296.1 million dollars. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. As we move, as we take a look at the logo of Ferdinand, 2017, where the blue has, who have the blue sky studios logo, because these other words blue and sky and white text, but the words are using white text under them. And under these words, there, under this logo, this word Ferdinand and white text. And yeah, by the way, the letter, by the way, the letter F, by the way, coming out the letter F and the second letter D, we have two bull horns that are white. And the whole logo is like red background. So yeah, that's it. Here's the original logo from 2016 2017. So remember that. And we have the title card. So yeah, that's it. With that said, thanks for watching another episode of Logo History. Hope you enjoyed it. We have another one coming up later today. So please leave like, share, comment, and subscribe. As we're on the road to 1,300 subscribers, I'm Miguel Sanchez. You yourself. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later with another new episode of Logo History. Join me later for episode 437 as we take a look at another video game. Oh boy, my friends. Episode 437 is about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So be on the lookout for that. Coming your way later. Whew. So don't miss it, guys. But that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you for episode 437 later as we take a look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm because I just say off. You, if you love Ferdinand, you you better go. You definitely go watch. You definitely need to go watch that movie. It's definitely worth the wait. That being said, thanks for watching. Because I just say off. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Later's.